Hi, this is Ramya Kaparasa from taxaccountingadelaide.com.au and I'm just going to talk about some tips to having more success in meetings with potential referral partners. So this is ideal for people who have gone to business networking or they've met someone through their business or have wanted to meet someone and get referrals from them and then they've set up a meeting and they're going to go to the meeting and from there uh, this is a tips on how to maximize your conversion of engaging them into being a, a, a really good referral partner the attraction from that from that I guess sales meeting with them or referral sales meeting with them so first of all uh, my tip is to prepare for it uh, maybe think about what they do and how they potentially may have overlapping target markets with you and, and seek maybe um, some ideas with them when you see them or on how you can work with them with that, that overlap of, of a um, shared target market. Uh, perhaps prepare for them a partner presentation or an information pack. Um, so put together maybe your presentation folder with uh, some flies and particularly of the target markets you think that they can provide you with and, and be prepared to talk to them about that and how you know the, the, how you do really well with that target market and how they may be coming across that mar that target market and you want to to meet those people or potential clients um, you can present them this during you know before the meeting or perhaps uh, at the meeting or even after meeting it depending on how it feels um, give some thought into the kinds of referrals and relevant information you can give to them and also give them a follow-up meeting email or, or maybe a, a video of, of some ref the ideal referrals that you want um, it's really good while you see them to tell them a story about how you help clients so it's really memorable and sticky as I say and repeatable and understandable and engaging so you tell them a good story of how you've worked with, with, a, with a client and some of the major solutions and how you've transformed them and give it that they may easily be able to repeat this story to others and, and it may be a really good way for them to get your referrals maintain uh, your contact with them so if you think you can just see them once and you're going to get a, a, a heap of referrals from them think again you've really got to spend some time and in investing um, some time into them so set up maybe what a what i call a framework to see them at least on a monthly basis for say a, a coffee or invite them to your business network or networks um, to see them regularly maybe do something social with them uh, basically, yeah. Uh, basically, I think that if you you know people for a long time, um, then that, you know your your referral partnership can really blossom. So for me, a personal example is you know some of the first people I met in in the first years of my business that I've still know now. It feels like you've grown through your childhood together, or literally grown up in business together. You really trust them. You know they've been around a while, and you've got good referral connections with them. Um, so make sure you listen to the person you meet and give them a chance to share what they want to and tell them what you can do for them. Uh, be sure to offer what you can do for, for them in you know the, the, the target markets that they're talking about. Make sure you've got planned and uh, offering incentives and re rewards for referrals. So some people will really like that and, and work better with, with incentives. Um, make sure you're always thanking them and acknowledging all the leads that they send you and celebrate good news when leads are great ones with them with feedback to them so so maybe say oh i really like that lead it was fantastic and we've done some business and i really thank you for that um think outside the square with who you think is an ideal referral partner so try people who you don't think are normally an ideal partner or maybe you're not your first tier close referral partner try and get some other ones as well um, you know, I found it's, it can actually be quite good to help you. Um, don't try and sell to your referral partner, but try to get their referrals. So don't specifically try and sell to the individual in front of you, any of your services, unless they, if they show you some interest, book a time to see them separately about that as well, but try to sell them that you want their referrals. 
uh, have a plan of who you want to meet as referral partners and then find them. So look at your potential collateral uh, partners to the services you offer and, and create an umbrella of different providers who can be involved in your services and then find them and perhaps they're the best people to to find um, a referral partner meeting with. Uh, know what referrals you want if you're really clear on your target referrals or target markets or ideal clients and that makes it easier for people to refer to you as well. Uh, you can also tell them what you don't want as well. So if there's a, uh, there's a lead that isn't worth much to you, you can maybe let them educate them on what that is. Um, yeah, that's uh, our little um, meeting uh, discussion on how to have successful meetings with potential referral partners. I hope that's helped you. And um, for uh, an accountant who supports your small business marketing, um, we'd love to meet you uh, for any of your business needs. Uh, find our website at taxaccountingadelaide.com.au and you can also visit us our website if you want to attend our local business networking events in Adelaide. You can find that also on our webpage at taxaccountingadelaide.com.au. Thank you for listening and I'm Romeo Caparasa from Tax Accounting Adelaide.